Neighbors say these empty apartments are more than just an eyesore. They are dangerous. And they want to know why it's taking so long to tear them down. As KETV News Watch 7's Quinny Sear Fraser reports, city leaders say that process takes time. As you can see out here behind me, it's pretty dark at these apartments. That's just one of the issues neighbors across the street say they have. Councilwoman Juanita Johnson says city planning tells her fencing and asbestos removal will start here January 8th. And this comes as advocates are ready for these abandoned apartments to come down once and for all. Tiffany Smith and her family live across the street from the Spencer East projects. When I call the cops, they're they, sometime they come, sometime they don't. Smith says she's seen everything from people living in the abandoned apartments to them taking out entire appliances. I'm seeing people come in and dump trash and then it ends up in my yard. On December 19th, the city council approved a plan for demolition. Common sense would say this should not be wide open like this. Community advocates like Celeste Butler say it's unacceptable for the building to still be up. The transparency that they say they have is not there because we didn't have to wait for the, the death of the winter time to come yeah. to do something about this. Councilwoman Juanita Johnson says she shares that frustration about the apartments in her district. I too share in that frustration. I too share in the fact that I want that down immediately because it is. It's an eyesore, it's a safety hazard. As for why it's taking so long, she thinks it may be because of the holidays. And she says it takes time to do paperwork for a contractor to come in and tear down the apartments. We have to do things that are within reason, things that we have, um, that we can do from a legal standpoint. Councilwoman Johnson says she'll be paying close attention to the date she's given when it comes to the demolition process here. At Spencer Homes East, Quinicia Fraser for KETV News Watch 7.